Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Prussian Dartmouth campaign. So, as always, I skipped ahead a few turns until the next battle, and it turns out we had to fight one just now. As I predicted, the Polish rebels, they, of course, rebelled. Well, duh, obviously. And then they march on Warsaw, and seeing that my armies are elsewhere, dealing with Russians and other Poles, uh, there weren't too big a garrison left to defend this thing, but we have kind of equal numbers, um, but there's also two slightly concerning things. He has artillery, not very good artillery, but artillery nonetheless, and he also has a regiment of horse. I have, hopefully have some buildings to hide in, but we'll see, the balance bar isn't in my favor as you can see. Anyway. I'll see you on the battle map, and hopefully we can defend our prized possession. Huh. Actually, it turned out we had a fort to, do, to defend. That's not bad at all. So hopefully the artillery won't bash our walls down too quickly. Let's see, his deployment zone is here, and all the way around here. So we'll place you there, I guess. And we have the pikemen here, in case we, well, they can just be um, ready to deploy wherever they are needed. There we go. Looking quite good, actually. There we go, finally some uh, some game sounds. So my, art my artillery will hopefully go after this. I don't know. We can't really con control this, I think. 12% already. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Not the best of formations, but hey, what can I do? Actually, what I can do is rush out with my pikeman and try to do something. I probably won't, but I can at least make them ready for it. Have I actually killed anyone? There we go. And actually, the one infantry that actually counts. Well, counts the most anyway. So that's good. Other than that, anything else? Nope, apparently not. Oh, there we go. They are getting into my, uh, my range. My musket range. And they already routed. Wow. Well, I'm not complaining. They're going to try to flank me, and they're also going to get a volley after them. I lost a few men here. Are they actually... Come on, they bugged out. Seriously? Anyway. This wall is uh, almost going down, and I can't do anything with these guys, as you can clearly tell. Oh, there we go. I just can see the uh, green stuff under them. Well. Putting them back down then. Don't want the wall to collapse under underneath them. And of course they walked into this unit's line of fire. And they didn't fare much better than the previous units who did something similar. They haven't returned to the battle yet. Oh well. So he has cavalry and more cavalry defending his artillery. These guys are, are routing, but I'm almost certain they will they will return. Oh, so they were ready to actually get onto the walls, but then decided not to. Well, to each his own. Oh, hold on, do they actually have bayonets? Wow. That's long overdue poem, but well, I'll stole I stole most of you your university, so Hmm. I 
getting uh, slightly massacred. And I think I can actually just push forward with what, uh, with, uh, what I got right here. And I should be able to take out the remaining units. At least if I bring my pikemen with me. Okay. I think I'll start off with a um, walk in walking order. Not to rush them anywhere. And rather rush out my pikemen and try to clear out some militia. And the line infantry. We'll see how that fares. Probably gonna get some glitching. But that's to be reckoned with. Yes, single line. There we go. We're in the melee fight with previously routed line infantry. Hopefully that will uh, play in my favor. Militia wanting to uh, get jiggy with it and uh, and go into a melee fight with me. Seriously, what are you guys doing? Seriously? As always, gotta love the pathfinding. <laughs> that was atrocious. Okay, lightning tree. They are shattered, that's good. And those guys are broken. That's also slightly good. Okay, Militia trying to do something fancy. I'll just hold hold a death building right there. And I think that will hinder them from actually capturing the square and of course now they, they are going around it. Yes, that was what the AI does. It just hangs up the... Um, the climbing ropes and then retreats, as you can clearly tell right there. Wow, did they, did they seriously go that way? And I have a unit stuck up here. Great. So he's stuck up there, and okay, this unit is stuck. It's just lightly retarded. So, full frontal charge. Against artillery. That has never been a bad idea, right? Okay, you can get a volley, can't you? Well, they probably aren't reloaded. Or maybe. No, they were actually reloaded. That's good. And try to get a slight charge on them. There we go. They are losing men faster than I'm doing. Yeah, I just routed. That was a stupid idea. So, to sum up, I have three units left, and one of them are completely bugged. That's fun. These guys are shattered, these guys are broken, but. Well, they aren't that close, but they are nearing the the uh, battle borders. Okay, I see a uh, I see a cavalry charge coming. These guys are still just broken, so I can have dreams. Okay, hope them can get back coming back, but let's fight, face it, they probably aren't. But. Okay. Of course, the cavalry thinks it's a huge, hugely wise idea to actually go on and charge an infantry square. Don't ask me why. They might be able to pull it off just because, um, just because of uh, the number of men in the square. I'll just send in these guys. Hopefully, these guys can actually get stuck. Apparently they can uh, they can charge without all their units in one place. That's good. I don't think they can form a square though. They might start forming a square, but I don't think they will. Uh, like I don't think the game will recognize it as a square and give it the full bonus it needs against cavalry. 
but we'll see about that. If the time comes. Oh great, these guys return. Go for a slight outflank then. Yeah. Yes, these guys are returning. I said charged them, didn't I? They are actually steady. That's interesting. And now, charge into the demi cannons and hopefully take them out. Come on, shatter them. Let's just try to form a square here and see what happens. So it will form a square, but it won't get the the uh, bonus against cavalry, I think. So I think this this looks like a square, but because these guys aren't kneeling down as these guys are doing, uh, it doesn't grant the bonus. And that sucks, but I can't do much about that unless I try to march my units up here and down again and hopefully get these guys stuck. But I'm not bothering with that. And these guys returns. Great. So you guys from the square again. Yeah, I'm taking out the artillery at least. So once again, they find it a brilliant idea to actually charge head on into a square. Don't ask me why. I really do not know. And they're getting absolutely massacred. Yeah, why not? Go for the artillery. You can take the cavalry at a later point in time. There we go, they are shattered. Absolutely shattered. So I don't have to care about them anymore. And there goes the Arty, and all that is left is the Regiment of Horse, and I have just a unit right here. So go on and charge. They are shattered. These are only broken. Ah, seriously? You guys. Guys! Why you do this? Oh, he rather wants to charge into a square. I get it. These guys are the one with the glitched officers. Yeah, that's a good tactic. That paid off well, didn't it? <laughs> I'll just go for a melee charge from both sides and hopefully sandwich it. There we go. Bavering. And here comes the other side. The general is dead. That's good. And shattered. And I won. So I defeated the Polish rebels. They probably will retreat and try again. I don't think I have eradicated uh, the enemy army. Nope, they still have um, they still have an army, a very shattered army, but still, still a val uh, a valid army. So the units I was trying to recruit, I now have them, and I also have these guys. So I think this should be enough to just auto-resolve this. It certainly was. Go back to Poland and we no longer have unhappiness. Just a few rebels and then they shut up about the problems. 
And something that is weird that I uh, that I discovered is that the infrastructure is actually metal roads, and they shouldn't be able to have metal roads by this point. That's way too early. But speaking of technology, I have I think I have four universities going at it, so I I I am actually researching new technologies at uh, quite a speed. So soon I will have socket bayonets. Actually, I'll have Magburg rather research fire by rank because that that's much more powerful than uh, socket bayonet. So, Wismar, what should you be researching? Yeah, I think you can just go down the textile industry. I also have one university going down the philosophy tree, so that's good. And and I'm going to upgrade said university. And the other universities, where are they? Hmm. I know there's one here that should be up to date. And same goes for that one. And there might be one here. No, down here then. Actually, let's just take a look here. Magber, Krakow, Wisma, Wisma. Oh yeah, of course I built. <laughs> I forgot. To, I forgot about that. I built two, two colleges in the same province, so that explains it. Once again, someone destroying my trades. That's annoying to say the least. So I'll push them out, and then repair this. They still have a blockade, but. I can live with that. And still the Russians, they, they they don't want peace with me. Nothing has changed in that regard. This army down here should almost be ready to just auto resolve this. But they have a few more reinforcements. And once again, settlement fortifications. So, yeah. That would be a crappy battle for, uh, for my part. Anyway, what can we do here? We can, of course, increase a bit of the um, of the infrastructure, and I think that is it. It's it for uh, this turn. We have uh, actually good good public order levels in these cities right here. I'm not even exempting them from tax. I think it's only Poland which is which really has a problem with. Uh, with uh, their new government, of course, Königsberg aren't going to um, aren't going to uh, to complain. That would be a bit weird. Of course, over time you get more unrest in your capital, but this is way too early for that. So go on to the next turn, and hopefully, I will get attacked by by the garrison, and they, they feel themselves confident enough to take on my army. But you never know. You might have to wait another turn in order to get the battle we are waiting for. There we go, finally. So, I have one artillery piece and only 13 men, so that, that's maybe one cannon. Hello, well, definitely no ca uh, one cannon, but might be two, just just might be two. Uh, but anyway, we are three thousand six hundred and seven men against three thousand uh, one hundred and something. Hmm. No, just six. No, six thousand one hundred and something. Thankfully, we only have one Russian um, Russian reinforcing army. Uh, for Poland, there were two here, but I think that was only one unit, so wouldn't make too much of a difference. Anyway, I'll see you on the battlefield.